Shu was finally destroyed at the Wu Zhang Plains. Now, only Wu stands in the way of our path to dominance over the land. We have already lost many a proud warrior in this time of chaos. In the end, it will be Wei, not Wu, that emerges as the victor. The ruler of all the land shall be decided here at Heifei. My dear husband, I shall win this victory for you and for all our kingdom. It appears some pirates from Xiangdong showed up during our battle against Shu. Very well. Let them rush to their deaths. However, we must be prepared for their attack. Wu is full of fierce warriors. If they think of this as their last battle, then we must be just as fierce when engaging them. Zhenji, we will defend the castle. Commence the attack when you feel the moment is right. After the battle, we will witness the birth of a new era, which I have created. What? What? Whose fleet is that? It's Wu! Wu is attacking! They'll be here any minute! If we win this battle, the Kingdom of Wu will be finished. You will have realized your father's ambitions for the land. Not quite. His ambitions mean nothing to me. I fight only for myself and nobody else. This land is mine. Now we shall forever seal the fate of Wu. Yet another officer bows before me. There is still some glory left for the taking. Unfulfilled. Yet another officer bows before me. Or bows before me.
left unfulfilled. Yet another officer bows before me. Was not enough. Yet another officer bows before me. my final battle. Yet another officer bows before me. Pathetic. I can see right through their plan. Continue attacking the walls! We must not be so careless! You're truly a hero of our time! Yet another officer bows before me. You should have brought your allies with you. Death is over already. Yet another officer bows before me. over already. Yet another officer bows before me. No use trying to bring in new forces at this stage. Begin the counterattack. Right, 
not good. Finish them off! It's over already. Yet another officer bows before me. Now you've made me angry! So this is to be my final battle. Yet another officer bows before me. Courage should get us through this. You are truly a hero of our times. Another officer bows before me. Not in your lifetime. 
right where we want them. You have won your last breath. Wisdom and courage should get us through this. To meet my end. Yet another officer bows before me. Let me show you the fighting spirit of the Soon family. We'll see who takes whose head. Really made of. You shall pay. I will never abandon the dreams of my king. We've got them right where we want them. the fighting spirit of the soon family of blue. I'll spill the blood of any who oppose my lord. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm always one step ahead of them. I have let my father and brother down. Yet another officer bows before me. I should have expected this from Wu. To cause this much trouble for our army. This truly was a fitting battle with which to sound the end of the Three Kingdoms era. With Shu and Wu both gone, there are none left to oppose Wei's ownership of the land. <laughs> I think I might actually kind of miss them. Perhaps it is nothing. A new but this It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Zhen Ji, from the Zhangshan region. She was the daughter of Zhen Yi, the governor of Shanghai. Zhen Ji was known throughout the land as a woman of exceptional beauty and intellect. In his efforts to increase his territory in the north, Yuan Shao married his second son, Yuan Shi, to Zhen Ji. After joining the prestigious Yuan family, Zhen Ji grew to become an even more glamorous beauty. In 
Intending to defeat Cao Cao and capture the Central Plains, Yuan Shao advanced his armies into Guangdu. While serving in the campaign, Zhen Ji encountered Cao Cao's son, Cao Pi. The battle was won by Cao Cao, and the Yuan family perished in the chaos. Cao Pi, enamored by Zhen Ji's beauty, immediately made her his wife. Zhen Ji, also drawn to Cao Pi, decided to dedicate her life to realizing her husband's dreams. Cao Pi inherited the Wei throne after the death of Cao Cao. As ruler of Wei, Cao Pi showed even greater ability than his father and pushed forward with his conquests. After defeating Shu at the Wuzhang Plains and Wu at Heifei, no one remained to oppose him. Cao Pi eventually became emperor and made Zhen Ji his empress. A noble empress, beautiful wife, and a loving mother, Zhen Ji lived a life of happiness. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. My dear, this entire land, everything I have achieved has been done for you. What sweet words you speak. It's not like you. <sighs> I thought it might be nice to speak my heart for once. <laughs> <laughs> 